Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day full of only positive vibes. Guys, you do not understand what is happening today. Today is a brand new season, but not only that, we actually got all the Damascus skin. I do not know how we were able to unlock it. Yes, we got all the Platinums, but two new skins came out or two new guns came out. So I think it might've been a mistake. So while I'm here, I wanna show you guys how every skin looks. And then I'm gonna show you a couple of them in game. Actually, matter of fact, I think we did with the in game first and then a few of them, uh, I think a few in game first. I, what we did was a few in game first and then we'll show you guys all the skins that is available. Honestly, like I said, I think this might be a mistake, so I want to show you guys this. Yes, I do have the Road to Damascus already available. I have a bunch of videos saved up, so we're still going to post that and continue that, and we're still going to do new skins whenever they come out, but I just want to show you guys to see if you guys... Oh my god, I don't want to keep talking. You guys watch the video, and if you do enjoy, I'll see you guys at the end. Mission failed. We'll get next time. Yo! I just got all the Damascus. What? No way! Bro! Bro! Yo! I just unlocked all the Damascus. No freaking way. Oh, all right. Well, since we did unlock Damascus, let me show you guys. We're going to go put it on our shotgun, obviously. But no way we actually got the... Bro, we actually got Damascus. Bro, I'm gonna be the first one to have- Oh my god, you get Damascus right off the bat! Okay, we're, we're gonna equip it on a few guns so we can kind of take a look at how it looks. But, no freaking way we got Damascus. I did not think that was gonna happen. We'll, we'll check- uh, Okay, so, SMG will put it on the HG. Because I think that's what people want to see. And then, for an AR, I think- We'll put it on a sniper as well, I think. We'll put it on a sniper because I feel like people want to see maybe the locust potentially. I'm not going to use it, but I want to show it to you guys. Ah, that's kind of whack. Let's see if I have a blueprint. Okay, yeah, we have a blueprint. Base one. It's kind of whack on the locust. You know what? Personally speaking, I think the better the better gun to showcase this would be the outlaw. Personally speaking, so we're gonna do that. Cause then it has way more, way more like colors on it, bro. And then finally we just show an AR. You know what? LK looks good. We'll put on the LK cause LK looks nice. Maybe not the iron sight, but whatever. It is, it is what it is. Let's just hop into a bot game just so we can see how it looks in game. This is going to be the first time in game look of the Damascus. I don't think anyone else will have done that. So we'll see how that goes, but I I can't believe I actually got all the Damascus from that. So first thing I'm going to check out is obviously going to be shotguns. It, it's actually not bad. It does shine. It's almost very similar to the Mardi Gras. Okay, obviously right now you guys can see. So that's really nice in the light. It's kind of okay, but right now it's pretty cool. The sound looks sounds different now. Pretty, pretty cool. I wish it was a gun inspection, but there is not. Okay, we're gonna go check a look at the, not the QQ9. We're just gonna Molotov ourselves first. Let me just switch class. We're gonna take a look at the, wait, I didn't equip the other one, did I? Okay, we have the Outlaw. So Outlaw, I forgot to equip the HG40, so we'll probably do that in a second. So we'll, we'll, we'll look at all the guns, but, oh, this is nice. This is so clean. This is actually really nice. I actually like it a lot. It's a lot better than it looks in game, to be honest with you guys. Just hit that reload button real quick. That's actually pretty cool. Let's take a look at the LK. That should be a, a good AR kind of check. A lot of noise changes or sound changes, so that's actually really cool. Ooh, that's nice too. I like that a lot. Take a look up. But yeah, it's actually really clean. You know what? All things considered, I think this is really nice. Not bad, not bad. Wow. And uh, I think that's it, right? I, I didn't really check anything else, but obviously I don't think there's any kill effect. If there's any kill effect, that'd be super cool, but I highly doubt it. Let's just walk over. Let's let's just walk over and see if we can get a kill with this. Doesn't look like it, so it'd be like that. There's a little 
these delay wait a minute that was weird all right not bad not bad all right let's let's just take a look at every gun skin one at a time so that we can kind of look if it looks really clean or not but i'm just really really happy that we actually got damascus wow and the cool thing about this is that i unlocked damascus for all the other skins as well so i'm actually i'm actually so excited you don't understand guys you don't understand how how excited i am right now but we'll, we'll start off with the marksman i think that's the one that i think most people probably already has all right not bad pretty solid let's equip it on our shotguns yeah we're just gonna equip all of them obviously we're still gonna continue our road to damascus series but by the looks of this you guys can see i don't know why it didn't freaking automatically attach but it looks a lot better in game it's fine we'll just put the completionist on so you guys can see you guys will be able to see every single gun available except for the new ones that I don't have yet. But the fact that they're not locked because they're unlocked, they're not un available. So that means I have it. That is sick. Completionist. Ah, that, was, that sucks. On the carom, it's not so nice. Because maybe if you remove the barrel. Okay, if you switch the barrel, which is good because you're definitely going to take off the barrel. It looks a little bit better. It ha but that little handle in the middle, it doesn't, doesn't help. Echo. Check the camo on the Echo. I'd rather have the Damascus and the Platinum. It, it's pretty clean on depending on the gun. Not bad at all. SMGs, there's going to be a whole bunch of SMGs. So we're actually going to equip those real quick. Not bad at all. I think this one was not as cool. We'll just add an ammo down to see if... Uh, oh, no. the am we, we do have an ammo and it doesn't glow. So that's kind of whack. Yeah, the chicken is not great. I think the PW was okay except for the top part. But I think if you add a barrel, it makes it a little bit nicer. So that's not bad. Razorback. I think the Razorback is going to look really nice. Especially if you have the mag on. That's nice. I like that a lot. MSMC. I know a lot of people would potentially want to use the MSMC. That's actually really nice. Oh, I didn't mean to go back. That's an awkward moment there. Let's go back to the SMG real quick. HG40. I think we have already gotten it. It's actually really nice on the HG40. Pharaoh. Boom. Nice. Very nice. GKS. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're just going to go through every single one of them. Boom. Sorry. Yeah, with the mag, it's really clean. Get the cordite in there as well. Gunsmith that bad boy. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the platinum one, but Damascus, though. Oof. That one is... That's not bad. That, is, that one is not bad. QQ9 is going to be really clean. QQ9 is going to be so nice. Oh my god. And it actually changed the uh, the 10 round mag, so you might want to use that now. That's going to be really clean. LMGs, that's going to be very interesting to see. Completionist. That's not bad. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the S36, but if you would like to use it, it's it potentially... Oh, with those, those belts, it's actually not... Pretty not bad. Pretty not bad. I know I say pretty not bad, but... And then we're actually going to put the drum here on the UL. The UL kind of sucks, but having to add ammo to give it a 50 round makes it kind of poo poo. You probably might even want to go 60 round mag here, but you do have the drum there. RPD, I'm actually excited about that one because this is one of the guns I like using a lot. And you can see the mag is really nice as well. Just the front barrel is kind of weird in my opinion. And with the M4 LMG, which I think looks really good as well. So even with the, yeah, even the bass drum gets already changed, which is super good. And then the chopper, which is, I feel like, the most used LMG. So a lot of people will be using that. And it is nice. Except for the handle. But if you take off the heavy handle, I think it looks okay, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with the stock and no stock and everything like that. So, But then again, you're, you're definitely going to be using the um, heavy handle more than anything. Just put it back on for you guys. I wish the heavy handle was a, a kind of Damascus vibe, but it's not. Sniper. I know a lot of you guys do want to see the snipers. So we'll take a look at the snipers. Bang. That one's pretty clean. Like that. Arctic. I don't know how many people are actually using the Arctics these days, but if you add stopping power, does it actually glow? Yes, it does. That's really clean. I like that a lot. M21 EBR. That was a downside of this one because the, the ammo didn't really glow, so that's kind of whack. DLQ as well. Let's get that camel in here. That. And I think, yeah, the ammo does not glow, so the DLQ is kind of one of those whacker ones. Locust, I think we just showed it before, but let's might as well put it 
on to the Damascus. I'm not a huge fan of how it looks on the, the, the Locust. The Outlaw is probably my favorite one. Just because there's so much, like the color is just all there. So that's really nice and clean. Love that. Now the AR, this is the important part. That's where all the majority of the skins and the hardest part is going to be. Ooh, love to see that. So yeah, I actually got it early, so I shouldn't have actually gone Damascus, but we did manage to get it early, so I am actually super, super hyped about that. AK-117. This is going to take a bit of time just to show you guys all of them. Not bad, not bad. That's not bad at all. The AK-47. I'm actually excited for that. Like, if I can use this in, like, um, BR. Oh, that's nice. Except for the handle, but other than that, that's clean. That's nice and clean. I love that. ASM-10. Put that on as well. Yeah, these like AR styles look really good. M4, camo. Yeah, most of the ARs are looking really good. No cap. Most of the ARs right now are looking, I'm, I think this one is gonna look kind of whack. Yeah, it, it does kind of look really bad. So not a huge fan of the BK, LK, we already saw in the game, but might as well equip it. Looks really clean. We also have the ICR, which I feel like a lot of people will be using. So let's show it to you guys. Really nice as well. Very, very clean. The handle is not and the low back end. So that's kind of one thing that I'm going to kind of look on. This one is going to be kind of a little bit whack, but it's going to probably look still okay. Yeah, it's just a magazine, which doesn't actually have the color change, which I wish they would have done it for all of them. But if they, they don't, it is what it is. And then we got the KN and then we have two more guns after that. Putting the camo onto this one, the completionist. At first you're like, oh, it's not that great, but once you add this, it makes it really nice. Love this one, looks really clean. I don't know, I just it looks really nice in my opinion. And in game, it looked a little bit better. So we have that going, and then the HBR, same thing. If we add the ammo, it should be pretty solid. And then finally our HVK, which we will definitely be using, but the HVK, I expect it to look really nice. Yeah, ooh, that looks clean. And you're gonna switch this for this eventually when it comes out, just don't know when it comes out. But when it comes out, so that looks absolutely amazing. And then finally, the last thing we need to check is the FHJs and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and put it. That looks good. I like that a lot. We'll put the SMRS as well. That's cool. I like that. Is it worth the grind? Maybe. I mean, they are going to be adding new ones out there, so... We'll see how it's going to look. Damascus knife looks really good, actually, like really nice. I don't think you can actually add it onto this. Oh, you can? No, you can't. Okay, I thought maybe you could. I was like hoping that the knife you can potentially add. What about the bat? Camo. Okay, so they're not unlocked yet, but you can actually level up the bat. You can, but there's no camels yet. But the knife one we did get, and then finally the pistol is the one that we all want to see, especially the MW3. This one is kind of okay, honestly. The handle is not going to be in color, but it looks really clean. I think the silver one, I think this is the only gun the silver looks better, in my opinion. And then this one, we should be able to do it as well. And that's going to be all the guns we've gotten. Ah, the mag is not in it. That's the only downside. The mag is not in it. But... That is all the platinum skins that we got. I'm super excited. Oh, I can't believe I already got them. That was worth the grind, I think. I think it was worth the grind. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this. I honestly think it is very nice on specific guns. Is it worth the grind? Maybe not for everybody, but honestly, it gives you a reason to kind of play the game. Some of them look really clean. Some of them don't. Like, for example, the BY-15, I think it looked absolutely fantastic. Honestly, I think... Some guns might be worth it. Some guns might not, but you might as well try to grind. And also, they're probably going to be another tier afterwards, which I think it was Obsidian. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it!